Namaste and welcome to day 7 of 30 days of upright. I hope you are enjoying. In today's session, we are going to look at the upright server side SDKs and talk about the differences between client side and server side SDK. Upright officially supports six server side SDKs that you can find in the upright's doc and more are in the pipeline. And our SDKs are automatically generated using the Swagger specification of our APIs. That is how our small team is able to maintain right now total of eight client plus server SDKs. So how are server SDKs different from client side SDKs? First is the authentication method. So client side SDKs are authenticated using cookies, whereas server side SDKs use a scoped API key that we can create via AppRite console to authenticate the requests. So this is the major difference between client side SDKs and server side SDK. Now, what are the scopes that are difference in the client side SDK and the server side SDK? So scopes limits the task or limits the service that you can access or achieve with SDKs. The server side SDK of AppRite offer much more flexibility and allows us to control many more aspects of AppRite. Using our API keys, we can access the AppRite service using any SDK of our choice. And we can perform almost all the actions that we can perform using AppRite console. So looking at the scope here, the account read and write on the behalf of currently logged in user access that is only provided in the client side SDKs, not in the server side SDKs and users. So users and pointer users API access only provided in the server side SDK teams read and write access provided in server side and both client side SDKs collections read write access is only provided to server side SDKs. Client side will have to know the collection ID beforehand in order to manage the documents of the collection. So client is allowed to read and write documents. Read and write file access is provided to both server and client side SDKs. Functions read and write can only be done via server side SDKs whereas functions execution read and write can be done from both client and server side SDKs and then local avatars and point can be accessed via both server side and client side SDKs. However, health service can only be accessed via server side SDKs. And even for server side SDK, we can define different scopes or what it can access while creating the API key. Let's quickly look at that. So here in our AppRite dashboard, we can go to the API keys and here we can add API key and while adding the API key, we can define the scope that API key is allowed to access. So we can give it users read, teams read, write, write. So what access that we give using this API key will only be allowed to access these things. Any request to these things will be rejected. Now getting started with server side SDK, we can create a new project, generate API key as I showed before, and then initialize our SDK with the endpoint project ID and the API key. Then we can make a valid request with scopes that are assigned to our API key in our AppRite project to achieve various functionalities. So we can build our own backend services on top of AppRite using server side SDKs to extend AppRite in awesome ways. You can look at the AppRite's supported SDKs in the official docs. If we go to the official docs, we can see the SDKs here from sidebar, tap on the SDKs. So AppRite docs SDKs, I'll provide the link in the description. So we have client SDKs and server SDKs. Right now we support two major client SDKs web SDK using JavaScript and Flutter SDK with Dart. 
and then we have server side SDKs Node.js, Deno, PHP, Python, Ruby and Dart. Thank you everyone for watching this tutorial. See you again in the next episode.